today, if you visit SGX uh, for any of the initial public offerings where they ring the bell on the floor, they will play their official video. And the first company that shows up is MM2. Quite an interesting, great story. Uh, founder is previously from Mediacorp. Uh, and you know, he spotted an opportunity. Mediacorp offered to buy him out. He said, no, I'm not gonna sell to you. And he started MM2, and guess what? He rang the bell uh, with MM2 60 million market cap. In three years, it became 600 million market cap. And thereafter, the first bell, he rang two more bells. That means he got two more subsidiary who also listed on Catalyst. And they bought up the cinema chain. Uh, they are a major player right now. So SGX has been focusing on MM2 as a classic uh, success story. Now, if you travel around in the region, you also see great SGX companies around. So last year, I visited Cambodia. And you see one building next to Naga City, which is the prime area in Cambodia where the casino is located. And you see a beautiful building. Wow, what's that? That's Oxley. Oh my God. That's Chung. That's a Singaporean company. And the guy is so active in the capital markets. Please watch what he buy and sell. <laughs> those, those are bit typical clues that you can trace. There's another Singapore... Uh, I wouldn't use the word maverick, but I call it the local heroes. There's uh, Kobun Hui. Mr. Kobun Hui is the chairman of NTU. Um, he is actually the chairman of a ticker symbol, one single alphabet A, which is Agilin. Great stock. And he has also invested in Razor, which went IPO in Hong Kong Exchange. Uh, when they interview him about his investment in Razor, he said, we waited for them for 10 years. We got the patience to wait out. And that's the kind of investors we need in the domestic market, who is patient enough to ride alongside the entrepreneur, not rushing him, and give him enough time for him to pivot and grow the business. And today he hits the jackpot. That's it. Bam! Razor rings the bell and he, I think he made a lot of money. So another classic hero will be Pish Gupta of DBS Bank he has done a great job to regroup the business. And today you go around any Asian city, you see DBS Bank logo, and you can be proud of that because we are Singaporeans going there, wow, that's my local bank, and they are present in all these five hours flight radius countries that we visit. Done a great job for, for us. So that being said, um, Typically, if you look at startup founders, you call them mavericks, they are the first to die in the streets. <laughs> Either they raise too much money too fast and they kill themselves like OFO, or they really pivot out, last a 10-year race, and finally ring the bell on the exchange floor. 